AutoCAD has some features called running object snaps and these are drawing tools that help you um, accurately pick out points on the drawing and um, something you'll frequently do when you're, you're drawing in AutoCAD is to uh, draw a line tangent uh, to an arc or a circle or you could even draw a circle uh, tangent to a circle but for this exercise I just want to uh, say that I want to draw a line that is tangent to both of these circles okay so typically the running object snaps that I have turned on let me show show you what I have here are the endpoint snap of course that's not relevant uh, for a circle but usually on lines um, uh, or in points of arcs uh, midpoint center quadrant intersection those things mean different things but if I want to draw a line tangent um, to both of these circles the only uh, object snap that I really need is the tangent object snap okay um, problem is is usually when you do this you'll you'll type um, L or line and then enter the line command and then you'll hover over the circle and you'll look you know you hope to see the tangent object snap okay well uh, what I see right now is the nearest object snap and if I get close to the top of the circle or on the sides or bottom I see the quadrant snap but if I go all the way around I never do see the tangent uh, snap okay which can be kind of frustrating one thing you can do is you can actually go into the object snap settings and just turn everything off uh, but the um, tangent and that way you can be sure to see the tangent snap like you see lit up here okay um, I guess the the biggest problem with that is that um, all of your settings that you're trying to use on a regular basis you have to remember which ones you used and which ones you haven't and turn those back on and and so on and so forth um, but what AutoCAD allows you to do is to do a one-time object snap override so again if I were to just enter the line command and want to draw a line tangent from here to here I don't see the tangent snap but if I were to just at this point I've already entered the line command you can see the line specify first point instead of picking a point for the first point of my line I can type in TAN and this gives a one-time override of the tangent snap okay and you can see that the tangent snap is in fact highlighted so I can click anywhere on that circle and my line will be tangent okay so let me let me do that and you can see once I do that my line follows my my cursor around okay so um, you, you want to pick an area that's close so I'm going to enter the command again L T A N instead of specifying a first point I'm gonna pick a point almost right here and again since it was a one-time override uh, I'm seeing the nearest snap again so if I want the tangent I can just type in T A N again and now I have a tangent snap and I can just click and you can see that I have a, a line that's tangent um, to both circles. Just as a real qu quick reference, don't use the nearest snap um, in situations like this. You, you, you may draw a line that's pretty close to the tangent, but it's, if it's not exactly the tangent, it can cause problems in high precision drawings. Let me show you what I mean. So I want to enter the line command <coughs> and um, I'll draw a line what I believe to be tangent from this circle to this circle so let me just get something close all right I see the nearest snap and remember the nearest snap snaps to the the nearest point uh, to the crosshairs okay so I'm gonna say that my nearest snap is gonna be about right here that's approximately where I think my tangent will be okay and oh I actually have a tangent on that side um, but let me say click there for my, my nearest point there. Now I can tell immediately that this is not tangent because tangent just means that the line will touch the circle at one point. Um, this kind of tees into the circle and if I were to actually extend this line it would touch the circle again back over here. Okay. Um, so let me show you where the line would snap if the tangent snap was turned on. So L enter T-A-N enter and and I'll do the tangent on this end as well okay and you can see that the lines are in fact snapped to two different places um, you don't just have to use um, 
T-A-N for um, tangent. You could type in E-N-D for endpoint. Um, you can uh, you can go into the help session of Autodesk and you can actually uh, find the different three-letter commands for the particular one-time override that you're looking for. For example, like quadrant is Q-U-A. Uh, or, as I said, um, uh, tan is T-A-N. Um, I think... Um, Perpendicular is PER, so there, there's different one-time commands that you can use, but the one I found the most helpful is tangent, which is uh, T-A-N, and that concludes this, this video.